Good morning, everybody. Welcome to San Antonio Living. I'm Shelly Miles. Diane Gottsman is our etiquette expert with the Protocol School of Texas. And this morning, we're throwing a little party because, you know, sometimes you got to have a girl party, right? That's right. And that's what Galentine's Day is all about. It's so good to see you. Nice seeing you. Happy oh. Galentine's Day. Well, thank you. Back at you. <laughs> this is so much fun. I mean, all the time we invite the girls over to have a good time. And you want to make sure you're doing it right. And you sent me an email. She's like, Shelly, do you know what a finger bowl is? And I'm like, I have no idea, but I'm very intrigued. So let's start there. Let's what start is that? There. Well, if we lived in the 17th century, oh. we would be using them. You okay. will probably never use them, but it's great oh, to know what they are because it's a skill. Okay. So this is a finger bowl. A finger bowl is just a bowl set on top of a plate with a pretty doily or napkin. And you know, if someone serves that to you, and you know, occasionally maybe a host will just for fun. Okay. The way that you use a finger bowl is that you dip all five fingers in at one time. Bring your fingers down to your oh, napkin, to the napkin on, on your my lap. lap. Okay. Don't bring it up above the table. And then use the other hand. And ah. if there is a lemon slice, if there's a petal of flour, don't touch it, don't squeeze it, don't eat it. And certainly don't drink from your finger bowl. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, good tip. Now we know about that for sure. Another thing that I get stumped on all the time is the amounts of forks and knives and yes. spoons at my place setting. What are all these for? So you'll notice that there is a small fork and it has a wide little side and that's called a dessert fork. Okay. Now you can, you may or may not use it. It does not matter. You don't need that to eat dessert. Obviously, we can eat with plastic forks sure. and spoons. But you know, the proper way to eat dessert is really with a fork and a spoon, believe it or not, although none of us really do. So what you would do is you would take your fork and you would bring it down to the left and you'd bring your spoon to the right and you would eat, you would use your fork as a pusher and you would use your spoon to scoop. It, oh that, it feels so weird. But, this is but my really, face. real life is it just, just use your fork. Or you could get a plastic spork. A spork, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> but the rule to the fork is you never grab your fork times down and shovel to your mouth. Okay. So you would use your Side. fork. Well, you would use your fork. I'm going to show you really okay. quickly. You would use your fork times up and bring it to your mouth. Oh, don't do it that but way. But don't eat it this way. This Got is it. called barbarian, you oh. know, when you're shoveling it in. No, no, no. Okay, no, no, good no. deal. Okay. Good deal. All right, let's talk about pies. How do I eat my pie? Okay, here's a little pie trivia okay. for you. So when you're serving, and this is this is this century. When you're <laughs> serving pie or cake to your guest, or you have it on the on the table set, mm -hmm. the which way does the point of the pie or the cake go? Uh, towards me? Towards you. Oh, towards good. your tummy. Okay. So oh, point the pie to my tummy. <laughs> towards you. So when you're setting when you're setting a okay. piece of cake in front of your guest, good to make know. sure that that point is facing them. Okay, let's talk about the tray here. I did not know that there was a way that this is supposed to be set. So if you have a tea party mm -hmm. or a Galentine's tea or any kind of tea, uh, tea caddy at all, it should be savories on the bottom. Did okay. you know what a savory is? Sandwich. A savory is something salty. salty. Yeah. It should be the scones in the center, and then on the top is your pastries, cookies, sweets. Okay. And this graphic that you see up on the screen is on our blog, and you can send it to Pinterest. You Got can find it. it on Pinterest. Okay. Very now good. you have to make it special. So. I love it, and I'm ready to have a sandwich, that's for sure. Let's talk about a royal tea party, because when you add the word royal to your tea party, it's my kind of tea party. It doesn't mean <laughs> gloves and pearls. It means champagne, champagne or some kind of liquor. Very nice. Okay, let's talk about sending the guests home with something special, too. Well. You see what I did for us. Okay, so I took our you pictures made that so and I just bought some cheap, you know, inexpensive sure, bubble. But it's fun. In this, it's it's uh, what is it? It's bubble, bubble bath. bath. Yeah. And then I just put our pictures on it. Always you send a card. Always give them a card. Write something special about why they're such a good friend of yours. Okay. And I think that the whole idea of a Valentine's Day or any kind of celebration is to make the people that you are inviting over feel special. special. Yeah. So I love make that. it your own. Make it unique. Use your best china or teacups and never put a teacup upside down or okay. a coffee cup upside down because that's bad manners. That's important to so know. If you so go what's to a the restaurant, coffee etiquette? Yeah. Well, if you go to a restaurant and you don't want coffee, never do this. Don't. Do not Just do say, that. I don't want coffee today. And certainly don't do it at someone's home. Okay, and keep your know. pinkies down. Don't use, don't put your pinkies up when you're stirring like or this. drinking. 
That's right. Okay. Good to know. Good to <laughs> and know. And great conversation. Just make sure the conversation is, is flowing. Okay. And never any gossip at the tea table or any other table. You know, we need to be kind. No. <laughs> All right. I love it. When shall I come over for my party? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. Thank you so much. Such a great idea. Hopefully you'll take something away and you'll be more comfortable at your next engagement. And of course, if you're looking for a little help, Diane is here in San Antonio. She's with the Protocol School of Texas. Go to DianeGotsman.com for more information and find her on Facebook, Protocol School of Texas. Denise, I'll save you some tea.